Ian, coming to you from the past. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Discuss you the uh uh discuss you a problem called with you with you called Xor. By the way, Xor is my favorite logic gate. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a favorite logic gate. Okay, so so. To ampersands, and then we'll put ampersand. Proper ampersands. To ampersands, or or written with a much simpler. Let's put that down. To pipes. Okay. Now, this is actually a problem that includes a perceptron. <laughs> perceptron. So, if we. So. So this is true or false. If we send these inputs there, true or false, we can train a perceptron on to give you and Be because this is a linearly separable problem. Do you know what that means? No. True, we have true, false, false, false. We can put, if we, we can put a line to have the trues on one side and the falses on the other side. So we can, and that line, in this case, this <laughs> looks something like this. That looks like this. This is a linearly separable problem. Now, if I say A or B, separable problem. The true, true, true here, false here, and in this case, the line looks like this. Something like this. Now, Terrible 
problem. Trues are on one side, falses are on the other side. So we get training perceptrons. Do it or now you may have not seen. What would you do then, if you can't write it down? You didn't do... By the... By the way, you can write a function called XOR. By the way, X here. The X here stands for... Exclusive. This is only true if one is true and one is false. So if both are false, we get false. But if both are true, we also can get false. Square here. Got a false. Something here. Got a false. Okay, now true. No, 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 sorry. If both are true, you're gonna get false, right? Yeah. So that one is false. False. And if both are false, I'm also going to get false. So I'm going to say false. But the other two are true. Both. Uh, yeah, because... Oh, and one uh, of them is true. One of them is true and one of them is false. Only then can be true. Actually, actually by the way... It, and this would only work if an odd. By the way, I I saw XOR actually is that an, not just one is true and the other ones are false. Uh, it actually can be that an odd number of things are true. Mm -hmm. so, oh, so it can be three, for example. One, three, five, yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. And this one is not li linearly. Now, okay, okay. Now I, I dare dunk you with a cherry on top to divide the truths and the falses with a single line. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah, I can't, right? Unless it's a curve. Well, yeah, but a single perceptron can only solve. Yeah. And the single one also. Single straight line. Yeah. So that so so I cannot. I cannot. I can draw two lines.
solution to this problem. And that is? We can have four perceptrons. Oh. We can have four perceptrons. We're getting smarter. It's like having four neurons in your brain instead of one. This is where a multi-layered perceptron really comes in. Erase all this. Basically what SOAR is, is OR but not AND. <laughs> so, yeah. so uh, uh, I could, let, let's say this is a perceptron that knows how to solve nuts. Oh, by the way, this is uh, another logical operator, not, and it's written with... Uh, I'm gonna put this here. Uh, there's another logical op operator. Nuts. Write that with an exclamation mark. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have so, to have four okay. perceptrons. So let's say this is a perceptron that knows how to solve nuts. Mm-hmm. Let's say this is a perceptron that knows how to solve four. Yeah. Let's say this is a perceptron that knows how to solve and. Let's say this is a perceptron that knows how to s another perceptron that knows how to solve it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if we Okay. So this is what's I think what it's gonna receive just one input. Okay. So mm, not. Okay, now Are we almost wrapping it up? Now. Because the what video the, say, Simon, the video is really these long. Both Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna put the result of this into the nuts. Okay. So basically, it's gonna invert it. Not as basic, but a perceptron that knows how to solve nuts is basically an inverter. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. it, so, 
True becomes false, and false becomes true. Yep. I could connect these like so. Uh huh. Then I need to connect the not to the and and the or to the and. And this is going to give us an exclusive or now. So. The In the last perceptron. The last perceptron is the output. The last perceptron is the output. Okay. Great. So this is so this is how or but not and. So and by the way, to write this in code, S one S one that like. Or S two right? Mm -hmm. S one or S two and So this is the way you write code for XOR and for multiple perceptrons. Yeah. Okay. 